Hi, I'm Ron Lund, and I'm going to explain my laser pitch gauge. Uh, I know the written instructions that are on my website aren't the best. They are a little confusing, so I'm hoping these videos will make it clear that the, uh, the tool's actually pretty easy to use, and I think once you get used to it, you'll find you can uh, you know, level the swash plate and set the pitch in a matter of minutes. First thing we're going to do is level the swash plate. Um, that's extremely important that you work with a level swash plate when you're setting the pitch. And in order to do this, I found a couple tricks that make it actually quite a bit easier than uh, the written instructions. So the easiest way to do it is to uh, remove your head button and then just bolt the laser pitch gauge onto the top of your head block. And once you do that, you'll be able to uh, mark your reference points. If you can't remove your head button or you don't have a hole in the top of your head block or you simply just don't want to bolt the tool on top of your head block, it's very simple matter to uh, tape the blade grips so that they're stationary uh, temporarily while we mark these four reference points. I like to degrease the head and the block and then take some blue painter's tape and uh, just cover up that gap between the grip and the head block and to stick it down on there. And then if it's not right at uh, zero pitch, I just kind of adjust it and that's it. Once you either have your blade grip taped or the tool bolted on top of your head block, you're going to want to mark four points. One in front of the helicopter, one to the right side, one to the rear, and one to the left side. So the four points 90 degrees apart. I like to cut a few pieces of tape and just get ready to mark my points. And what I do is... Uh, I just fold that white end back on itself, put a little crease on it, and that just makes it a lot easier to get off the wall. So once you get the four points marked, uh, the first thing you do is put is the laser pitch gauge in one of the blade grips, uh, make sure all the links are hooked up, and then turn our radio on. Now put the laser on the uh, point in front of the machine, use the collective to uh, put it over the mark exactly, rotate the head 180 degrees, and if your elevator isn't level, there's going to be a gap between the mark and the laser. Split the difference. Just split the difference. If it's, if it's two inches away from the mark, use sub-trim to move it one inch. And then use collective to move it the rest of the way to the mark. Now turn the head 180 degrees so the laser shines on the mark in front of the helicopter. And check to see if it's on the mark. If it's not on the mark, go ahead, split the difference, you sub trim half the way, collective the other half of the way. When you go back to the rear, it should be on the mark. If it's not, same thing sub trim and collective. Once you get it where it's over both marks, rotate the head 90 degrees so it's lined up with one of the marks on the side, left or right, doesn't matter. And just using sub trim, no collective, put the laser on the mark. Now the laser should track over all four points as you turn the head. Once it does that, you know your swash plate's level, and we can move on to the next video where I'll show you how to set the pitch.